Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another Stormworks video! Today, we are gonna go ahead and try out this thing right here that you guys can see! It's on the screen! It's right, right there? No, that way! It's down, down there! Um, yeah, so this is a super speedy yacht thing. Yeah. It's called the PT-20.3 High Speed Hydrofoil Ferry. And that's exactly what it is. Now, as you guys can see, it's got some labeling on the side. It's, yeah, it says ferry service. I don't know what that says. So, Udo? So, wait, what? Sock Udo. Sokudo. Okay. Uh, ferry service. It looks awesome. It looks pretty cool. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and use this thing. We're going to go out into the ocean. I don't know whether we'll do a mission with it. I'm not sure. Um, but we'll see. We'll see what it's like. Let's go. Okay, so the first thing that we should go over, I guess, is a quick spec rundown, which is on the Steam Workshop um, description, so you guys can see it and read it for yourselves. Uh, but basically what it says is the length is 21 meters, which is pretty decently long. Um, its top speed is 57 knots, pretty good. Uh, estimated maximum range of 120 kilometers to one hour of cruising time. Okay, right, that makes sense. And it's got 22 seats on it, which is cool. Uh, so, if we have a quick little look around, we've got an antenna on the back, that's cool. Uh, we got some of these, which, um, I, I guess are like little, um, anchors, but also maybe like mooring lines as well, uh, so that you can actually like park it up and stuff. That might be what they're for. Um, uh, but let's go inside. Here we go, main cab. We can go inside, close the door, thank you. And we've got like the little captain's helm right here, which is nice. And we got a little seat for the cruiseman's seat. Yes, that's cool. We go downstairs. This is where all the passengers sit if they need to. Um, that's nice. They can all sit in the front. Uh, these lights. Oh, that's a heater. Oh, I see. That's a heater. Uh, we got a little fake door right there. I like the, the idea of that. That's cool. Uh, right there, we can actually see the engine. We can see the engine. That's cool. Uh, if we go to the back, we've got more seats back here. And another heater. Oh, wait. That's not even a heater. That's a fake heater. Yeah, we got lights though. I don't know how you turn the lights on. Uh, general lights. Ah, there we go. Ha <laughs> ha. We found the lights. Amazing. All right, let's get this thing working and get it out of here. Okay, so let's see if we can get this thing actually working. We got engine. There we go. We got nav lights, deck lights, uh, activate foils. So it's a hydrofoil to make it go faster. Um, less drag in the water means faster. Yeah, that's, that's good. All right, drive mode. We're on. All right, be gentle. That's what it says. Be gentle. So we will. We'll be very, very, very gentle with this. Um, we'll set off very slowly, and then we'll speed up over time, and then we'll just go... Vroom! Vroom! That's how it works, right? That's how it works. Uh, I don't know whether there's any missions that I actually want to do with it. Um, it also says that it doesn't like choppy waters, which makes sense. It does make sense. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see how well we can get this thing working. Yeah. It looks good, though. It looks real nice. Okay, what are all these things? Turn off bridge light. Oh, so you can turn off... What? Why would you do that? I don't know why you would do that. we got spotlights as well. That's cool. Um, we've got a foil height modifier. So, um, more equals less ride height. Okay, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's go for it. Here we go. We're full throttle. We are out of the water, and we're back in the water. Okay, that's fine. That's okay. Drive mode... That was weird. That was really weird. Um, right, okay, turn the hydrofoil on. Let's go. Activate the hydrofoils. All right, we're ready. Yes, there we go. So we're slightly out of the water. Awesome. That's exactly how it's supposed to ride. Oh, that is beautiful. That is beautiful. How fast are we going right now? Can we see? This is our speed. We're going 50 knots. 51 knots. And we're just we're just gliding across the water. That is awesome. It's actually stable enough for us to just, just walk around if we want to. So we can we can just go outside and uh, chill on the deck if we wanted to. Um, I do want to see what it's like against like a, like a little bit of waves. Just just a little bit. Like, let's say 50%. That is a little bit. And a tsunami as well. Oh, and a megalodon. But you know, that's okay. So it is sailing through these waves relatively well. Um, it is a little bit choppy, but but it's actually riding quite nicely, which is good. If we go to the front and we sit in this seat, it just glides straight through them. That's awesome. That is actually fantastic. All right, okay, okay. So what if we go like up to a, ooh, oh, hold on. 
Alright, that wasn't good. That wasn't good. We tipped over there. That was a little odd. That's a little bit strange. But it's back to working again. So, it doesn't like waves, but it will sort of deal with waves, uh, which is nice. That's a good thing. Okay, so I've turned the waves off, and uh, we've got the tsunami right there. I believe we can actually probably outrun the tsunami. Uh, so let's do that first. Let's try and outrun it. And then if we can't outrun it, we'll turn around and we'll deal with, with the tsunami. Um, I don't know how fast the tsunami moves. Has anybody ever sort of worked that out? I, I, I haven't. <laughs> I definitely haven't. But we're faster than it right now. So it's... It's slower than 50 knots. But it's more than, than than 20 knots. So how fast is it? I don't know. Um, right, okay. Okay, that's good. That's good. We got loads of like life-saving equipment on the roof. What else have we got up here? We got a we got a horn. I don't know how you use the horn. Um what else we got? What else we got? Wait, there's the observatory right there. Oh, we're, we're definitely just wait, we're quicker than this thing. That is awesome. All right, okay, let's get back inside real quick. We'll close the door, and we'll turn around, and we'll fight the tsunami. We're going to try and fly over it. That's the plan. We're going to fly over it. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This is not a good... Is... Don't try this at home. Do not try this at home. All right, off we go. I'm a little bit confused. Um, it turns into a submarine, uh, which is nice. Uh, ooh, I don't know what's happened here. <laughs> we, somewhere is full of water. Uh, turn this off. Uh-huh. There we go. Turn it back on again. And it's working again. Easy peasy. That was simple. That's awesome. So it is actually fully like um, fully sealed, fully waterproof, which is good because if something like a tsunami happens, then you can you can literally just stay inside and survive it. It's it's that easy. It is it is that easy. That is crazy. All right, let's try and do a mission. With okay, this. we have to rescue a submariner and take him to hospital or her. It could be a him or a her. I always say him, but you know it could be it could be a female. I don't know. Anyway, we'll turn to the side. We'll travel 11 kilometers in that direction. It doesn't like turning. It does slow you down a lot when turning. Um, but it shouldn't take as long to travel 11 kilometers. So we'll be there very soon. Um, yeah, cool. Oh, uh, yeah. This, this makes sense now. It makes sense. Um, the, the submariner is in a submarine. So yeah, I don't think we've got very much to deal with that situation. But um, that's okay, because I'm, I'm sure we'll be able to save him anyway. Oh, huh. so I keep saying him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It is not my fault. Ah, oh, right, okay. How far away? How far down is it? Do we have any equipment for diving? I don't think we got any diving equipment. I don't think we got any scuba equipment. I don't think we got anything like that. So, um, we're going to struggle a lot. We're going we're gonna to struggle a hell of a lot to save this person um uh, I don't know right okay let's get over there let's just let's just get there first and then we'll dive on down I don't think it's gonna be very deep I don't think they're gonna be very deep um but they might be well we'll see we'll see hold on come on we're almost there it's actually quite a nice boat without being uh being a hydrofoil like it does it does go across the water nicely anyway uh, and presumably it would drive along across the water nicely in waves too but I'm not sure I don't know there we go. Right, we're almost there. We're very close. We're very, 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 very close. Wait, are they in like a little mine? I don't know what's going on down there. I have no idea what's happening. Can we change it to daytime? It is daytime. Can we turn the rain off? There we go. There we go. So I can see the submarine. We are still sailing forwards. There we go. I've turned the engine off. Right, I'm getting outside. And we're going to go swimming for a submariner. He's only 76... Oh, 76 meters. That is quite far down. That That is quite far down. Uh, let's go. Whee! Okay. Right. We got to get like... Oh, we're already dying. 
We're already dying. We're not, we're not making it. We're not gonna be able to save the dude. Unfortunately, the man is going to die. Um, I don't want to die, so I'm not gonna rescue him. But, you know, it was cool getting out of here. <laughs> that was nice. Uh, just a little bit of a waste of time. I'm sorry, dude. You're gonna have to get someone else to rescue you. It doesn't even seem like it's that far. We have a crane. We have these things, but they're only on small electrical ones. It wouldn't reach. They wouldn't reach. He's dead. She's dead. It's dead. One of the... What? Something. Something. Yeah. We've also got the magnets on the front as well with the little winches. Um, but yeah, we can't actually rescue the dude. So I guess we'll go ahead and end this video here for now. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys want to check this thing out, then uh, go ahead and do so. It is a really nice vehicle. Um, but before we end, before we actually end, let's go ahead and try out get try out against waves without the hydrofoil because I feel like it can do it. So there we go. We're just gonna floor it. There we go. We're gonna put some some wind on. Some not much rain. No whip. No rain. And yeah, we'll just sail it around as if it's just a ship. It works. Oh, it, it does fly. It does take off a little bit. So, so that that's interesting. <laughs> so that's interesting. Um, but it does work. I don't think it's going to tip over. So, you know, it's nice. It's nice when it doesn't tip over. So, yeah. Uh, it works. Uh, also, I wanted to see what it looked like on a night time as well. And it looks beautiful. It looks great in the night time. Uh, we've also got lights as well, if, if we needed them. we got spotlights. So, uh... They're a bit blinding, but they work, so that's good. Um, but yeah, for right now, I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. Thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, leave a like down below or subscribe or whatever you want to do. Tell your dog. Tell your dog I'm here. I like dogs. Dogs are great. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Goodbye. Bye-bye.